We're back. I don't know where I lost you. Anyway, so four of us in this chef group, we were like, we're good chefs, man, and there was good chefs from all over the world, and this is a huge network, and we were like really following comment threads, making good comments, you know, standing out among our peers, and uh, I talked to you about this stuff before, man, but this one guy, he actually, uh, People would just be wrong, man. All about wrong. <laughs> Sometimes in their life. I use that one. And anyway, this guy kicked us off the site and removed all our comments. I let my pan get all cold. He removed, I, I put the chicken in first. Let's put the nuts in. He removed all our comments. And this is like a whole summer's worth of work. Um, basically, if you had sat down and written like two or three term papers, right? Because some of my comments were really, really long and detailed because I was staying in my career. I, I enjoyed staying in the conversation. You know, one guy asked, I got a major, major distributor and I feed 3,000 people a day and da da. You put a little salt in that too. The cashew, the paprika. Anyways, I gave him a five-point plan instead of saying, "Hey, I have a bunch of great ideas." Hey, I hear me. I like gave it all to him, man. I said, "Hey, man, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look." Support your team members. Gave him a long, detailed list on how to do that. Created overall um, a new feeling in the restaurant and then go with some different foods and talk about different foods and cost ratios. Because, I mean, I eat great food all the time, guys. It don't cost that much. All right, that's cash she's working. Let's, let's even put a little bit of sesame in right now. So we're gonna make a quick sauce. Right, is done. So, movie chef, cool, man. I like that they got a bunch of the really top guys to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess if they make a movie about me one day after I finish my book, maybe some other buddy, some other light-skinned brother, trying to play my head, <laughs> trying to do... Where that boy go? He done just run off and left me up in the kitchen? What the hell is this? I done remember this. See, after I was in the, the World War II, I was in a special advisor in the Vietnam. Now, the Vietnam was no joke because they had tall trees and these was palm trees and the coconuts. And me and my pygmy adventures, we was there, but I couldn't, I could never find them. They was... They was good people, they was good fighters, right? Yeah, but I could never find them. So, I'm gonna put the onion in here. We making some chicken cashew. It was some, mm -hmm. with some pump sauce. Yeah, yeah. And the, and the thing is, and the thing is, when you was in the Vietnam or in the kitchen, wherever you gonna be, and then you will be in there for hours and hours and hours and hours making other people some food. And some girls and some men down there with the shop and all that. They make a lot of money, right? And they'll be like, ah. And you be back there cooking and cooking, right? And they be like, right? So you just want to just, you know, just make a little food right here. So I don't put the plum sauce in. And, and then I'm going to put my stock in, let my stock heat up a little bit, well, mm -hmm. let that be reduced a little bit, mm -hmm. and then, uh, so, so we're making them, we put a little flavor in this, you know, and then so, me and my pick me Avengers, he was on the Dune River, 
Have my little seal team adventures. You should have seen them fishing, man. They like the goals and the fishes, and they shoot them out into the cannon, and then they go, Doop! and sometimes they skip on the water if you don't have the damn the cannon angle rise. But, you know, Papa Muffin was there with me. And if you don't have the cannon, the, the cannon an, an angle rise, but if you get it up just right, they just go down and poof, and then they'll come, and they'll, I think they like kick off the bottom or something like that, because they come out, and they say, a goony doo goo. Cause they've been saying that for a long time when they come out with a fish in their mouth. And the little piggy come out with a big fish. So he, it was kind of like a fish was shaking and the little piggy was trying to hold still. So they was still like that. Right? You know, old Papa John done see some things in the day. You know what I mean? So if you're working in the restaurant and you want, you, 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 you know what I mean? You cooking, you cooking for folks all the time. And you just in there and you like, Lord, they ain't just boring. And I, I mean, I love my job in the rock and roll plane. And you're making the good food. And you walks out, you make the people happy and all that, you know. So it's all right. It's all good. You know what I mean? And, um, we didn't even put the cornstarch in. We didn't. They done. We done thickened up without the cornstarch. That ain't mean we need a little bit more water in there. Just a little bit. I'm going to put a little, 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 little more plum sauce up in here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to do one other thing. do one other thing. And you know them, one of them, this ain't really no real number, you know. I done learned this from this. Ah, look at Chinese. Mm. And from her friend, her friend was from Vietnam, and they was they was cooking and making food like that. And I was wondering, and I don't want to say no more because it was so fun. But anyway, and then we gonna pull up and get hot. Put some hot stuff in there. You know what I mean? Y'all like that? And order up. You know what I mean? Working in the kitchen. It's like the, um, it's, it's Good Friday. And people be running around a lot on Good Friday and having extra funds. And he be out there doing some of that. So I don't know where that shit down done, girl. But this is Papa Murphy. I done said it that way twice. I think I was getting it. Do you know, I done been to two wars, three wars, you know, four wars. With all my little pygmy commandos, you know. I done seen some battle. So if I forget something, so I thought I see something a little off, y'all's got to forgive me. You know? No Papa Johnny. Hey, Papa, see, I done got me right that time. Done got me right. No Papa John done. I'm going to put a little something on this. I'm going to fire up a lot. Because this here fire right here, that's the best fire there is. It's the best sauce ever. I done gave away a lot of it. Gave some of it. He sold to some nice folks. Oh, Chef John's pants. I gave some to them. Mm, they were so happy with it. They was proud. They were proud. I was proud too. And Chef John, he, I, he, Chef John got a big old heart, man. After his mama they left, he done, you know, you know what I mean, guys? He got a big old heart. He don't, you know, he's a big guy. He's strong. So, you know, he ain't no sissy, but he ain't seen his mama in like 20 years. Brother been at war for a long time, being a soldier for a long time, you know what I mean? You done seen his mama, you just, he had to have a moment. He done kicked all of us out of the barracks, everybody. Yeah. Hey, no, Papa John. Chef John sat down there and he, he had a little cry for a moment, you know. But that's blessings of Easter, man. He especially sees his moms for... Like a long time, 20 years, he done seen his moms. And then, then mom come to the door. And then he done called his mama. And his mama done tricked him. His mama done tricked him. Because his mama had a trick. I remember this one time. It's, it's in his book. But I 
I was there, right? Because I was friend with Joe and Joe Beckwood, who was secret agent too. He worked in Washington, D.C. He used to take my sister out. He's secret agent. He was there, great man, Joe Beckwood. I got lots of, lots of respect and honor for him. I know God what I was thinking. I started thinking about Joe, started thinking about my sister. See, I told you I done been through a whole lot of wars. So we got this, we got this show, right? And it's on the T, it's coming out on the on the on movie screen on the cinema. That's when y'all goes down with a whole lot. Y'all sit in shoeboxes now. But back in the day, we used to have this grand theater and it had drapes and it had balconies and people was everywhere and the floors was well, the floors is still sticky. But the floors and yeah, I would have a I have to bring a lot of booster seats or like um, you know, a whole lot of them phone book things for all my pygmy commandos when we went to the movies together too, because you know, they just couldn't see you over nobody. But then the problem was they had the big old afros, right? So I done stacked them up and then the afros was so big the people behind them couldn't see. So we was in the movie theater in a little box and the people on the so I done get them all ski cap and then we found, you know, the, the little water caps that they do war, you know, but then we put like designs on them, you know, we had some monster stuff up on, on there, we like, you know, some lightning bolts on the side of the little pygmy hat, you know, it, it was cool, man, they, they had some righteous stuff on them, you know, pygmy power, what not, you know, big PMG, you know, <laughs> P <laughs> pygmy gangsters, you know what I mean, man, yeah, straight up soldiers. So let's, just, let's go ahead and finish this here. So when you was in the kitchen, and if you been up in there like 12 hours, and you done open the kitchen and close the kitchen, and open the kitchen and close the kitchen, and open the kitchen and close the kitchen, close the kitchen seven days a week. And you're opening the kitchen and closing the kitchen, and you're opening the kitchen and you're closing the kitchen, and you're opening the kitchen and you're closing the kitchen. And you're closing the kitchen. Seven days a week is an opening. That's when you open up the restaurant. And you you, um, you come in about 8 o'clock in the morning. And don't nobody start eating. Usually about 11. You know. And I, I'm going to look at this. And you start working. And ready and getting things done. And watching and looking and sharpening things up. And then you go home. About one o'clock in the morning, after you done cleaned the whole place up and put all the dishes away and got ready, I made the order for the next day and did everything. Yeah. So this year, um, Papa John, wishing y'all happy Easter, much love, and when you are shot in the kitchen, you tell the to sit, arrive at certain thing. Oh, look. Look, 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 it's a special moment. Look, it started to, ew, ew, we got to get rid of it now. It's dangerous now. I'm going to take it outside and throw it somewhere, and it's going to squawk. It's going to be super cool. All right, shut down, we're going to go make it. That was gross. I didn't know it would do it that. It been doing that for a while. I don't even know who's I is again. It's Papa John. I made the cat run. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. Chef John, get a gourmet. Peace. Oh, this meal cost me less than $2.